Mikey, there are five wolves chasing us. Run to the portals. The wolves can bite us now. Ugh. Follow me. It's best to hide behind a tree now. The wolves seem confused and didn't notice that we were standing here. Let's take a closer look at why they're running to the portal. <laughs> oh no, Mikey, look. Now they have gnawed at a villager and tore apart his body parts. It's impossible to believe, but each of the wolves has now gone to different portals. Huh? They took the arms, legs, head, and torso of a villager with them. Let's run and check it out now. I don't want to stand on the sidelines. It's really creepy. What are we going to do next? Mikey, we have to save the villager. Oh! Run into the portal with me. Mikey, we have to save the villager. Mikey took the first step and now jumped into the ground portal. We need to see what's inside. I looked around now and there is no one. Great, we've moved to the ground house. Everything is very big. It seems to him like real babies. Hmm. Mikey, let's take a good look at this room now. It seems that we are now in a huge golem house. There is a lot of land near the table right now. Let's collect it for ourselves because we will definitely need it. Perhaps we will find some resources that will be useful to us because we need to catch the wolf as soon as possible and return the body part of the villager. Woohoohoo! And you carefully watch the sides so that the wolf does not come close. We were very lucky because now I noticed a chest and there is a shovel inside. The excavation will go much faster. Huh? You can't imagine how glad I am that the two of us are going to try to catch a wolf now. It is very dangerous and you should not take any risks. This wolf is very dangerous and can bite us hard, but I don't want that. I see that you found a cool potion, and now we're running on. Look, there's another chest here. Ho-ho! <laughs> Mikey, we are very lucky. Great! I noticed a dangerous wolf. He is standing near the table leg now, so now is the time to make a trap as quickly as possible to lure him there. I'm sure the wolf won't just give away a piece of a villager's body. When I'm watching closely and if there's any danger, I'll let you know. Hurry up! Yep! I hope that Mikey won't miss the moment when the wolf runs towards me. And now I have a plan to make the coolest trap imaginable. Now it will take a lot of blocks of ground and fake grass that we found in the chest. It will be necessary to lure the wolf into this trap. Yeah. I came up with a very cool trap because I will make a small platform that will be two blocks high. I'm sure the wolf will definitely want to come in and see what's inside because there will be a bait in the middle. And now I have already prepared everything as needed. In the middle, there will be one block on which I will put something to attract the attention of the wolf. It's really very dangerous because he has sharp teeth and I'm doing pretty well. I'm very happy because now I'm finishing the construction of the trap and it's covered with fake grass on top. Huh? I see that your trap is completely ready. That's very good. And now it's time to lure the wolf. You probably won't believe me, but I found the bones. So now I'm going to scatter them all the way to the trap. We have to take the villager's head. <sighs> Mikey has helped me very well right now because thanks to his bones, I'm laying her out to the trap. And now we need to see from the outside how it will work. It seems he's running towards us now. Mikey, get ready and look carefully at the trap. Great. Woohoo! Great, we've caught a wolf. Let's take a look at it. It's terrible how scary he is. There's a villager's head in his teeth right now. It makes me uneasy when I look at it. Wolf, give us your head quickly and we'll let you out. This is our deal. So it seemed to work out and now we're going back to the portal. The wolf is running right behind us. Ho <laughs> ho! The good thing is that we were able to come to an agreement with him after all. I wouldn't want to lose a villager's head. Super! I still can't believe we were able to get out. The wolf is running away from here. The good thing is that we got the villager's head back. But there are still a lot of body parts that are in other portals. So let's prepare much better now. In no case should we allow the wolves to eat them. Therefore, the moment has come to make a chest to put everything that we have managed to collect in this time. And now it's time to make the chest I was talking about. Mikey, look carefully at how I'm going to do it very cleverly right now because I've collected all the necessary blocks of wood. <laughs> now you can put a villager's head here so that no one steals it. I still can't believe it, but it turned out really cool. Mikey, let's run to the lava portal. Then I'll take the chest on my head now and run faster to the portal.
We have very little time left. I will always carry this chest with me. Jump into the next lava portal. Just be careful. Super, we ended up here after all. It's so hot. I didn't think there would be lava everywhere. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Take a closer look because there's a wolf standing there. Let's try to get to him now because he has a piece of a villager's body. Just be careful. Don't get burned on the lava in any case. It's very dangerous. I don't want you to take any chances right now. You won't believe me now, but I decided to do something unusual. Yep. I am sure that the wolf definitely does not expect this because I picked him up in order to go back and save the villager. It's really very hot in this dimension. I definitely don't want to stay, so let's go back. I agree. I don't like Mikey either. Then let's hurry up because the lava is starting to add up now and I don't like it. There are lava geysers everywhere, and if we don't leave now, we may die and drown at any moment. Hmm. I'm burning my feet! You have no idea how much it hurts! It's best to move on now and still find a way out! Let's speed up anyway. We have very little time. I don't want to take any chances. I can't believe my eyes! We're back! I'll take the villager's leg from the wolf! Mikey! Then let's get the wolf off your hands now, and we'll finally start taking the villager's leg away from him! You're going to give her to us anyway, and there's no way I'm going to let you run away with her and eat her. So now I'm going to do everything possible and chase him out of here. Sometimes it seems to me that you are in too much of a hurry, but that's okay. Now we are moving to the water world. Ah! Oh no, there seems to be very little air here. It's better to pop up sometimes because we can lose a lot of damage. I definitely don't want that. Mikey, just move towards the sunken ship and try not to get distracted. Now it's best to just move on. I understand that it is very difficult to breathe underwater, but the most important thing is to find the wolf that is hiding here. I understand that you're running out of air, but so am I. Okay, then let's run inside the ship now and finally find the wolf. We need to get a body part of the villagers faster. Go back. I don't want to drown in this ocean with the ship. So, now it turns out that we got into the stern of the ship and at least we can breathe here. It's good. Let's look at everything carefully. The wolf is probably somewhere nearby. Oh, Mikey, unfortunately, I don't see him. It seems there is no wolf inside the ship and we need to look for him somewhere outside. This ship sank a long time ago because it's everywhere. I see a lot of abandoned things and skeletons. To be honest, it's getting creepy. But our main goal is still to find the wolf. Mikey, where are you? <laughs> JJ, you probably won't believe me right now. You better get ready, because there are very dangerous challenges ahead. You can't imagine how scared I am, because there is a huge shark swimming next to the ship. But I noticed something special. I think you'll be surprised when you actually meet her. Mikey, what did you see there? Show me soon, because now it has become very interesting. To be honest, you intrigued me. The horror, it's a shark, and it's got a wolf in its mouth. I still can't believe that we got into such a terrible situation. <laughs> wow, to be honest, you took me by surprise now, but the sharks really bit through this wolf and wanted to eat it, but it remained in their teeth. Let's try to pick up a part of the villager's body now and go back to the ocean. I don't want to stay here because the smell is very bad. Of course, because the shark eats everything and the smell from its mouth will be very nasty. But the good thing is that we have now carefully examined all the boxes and I still found the pickaxe. I will try to break the wolf's mouth and take away a part of the villager's body. We should hurry up now because the shark can swallow us at any moment. <laughs> okay, I see that you're done. So give me a piece of the villager's body as soon as possible and let's get out of here. The good thing is that I carry a chest with me and we can put it there without any problems. Now I'm breaking the shark's brain so we can kill it. Use your sword. Great, Mikey. We're running her now after all. Let's get back to the portal as soon as possible. I don't want to waste time in the ocean because at any moment the air may run out. It seems like we took everything and now it's time to go home. I hope the shark won't chase us anymore. Oh, Mikey, I see a portal in front of me right now, so get ready. We will go there in the body of a shark. I really hope that you are doing everything right now and will not make unnecessary mistakes. So let's move to the portal. I can't believe my eyes. The shark jumped out with us, but it can't breathe in normal air because it needs the ocean. She seems to be suffocating right now. <laughs> the shark is dead now. Mikey, it turns out that we have passed another very dangerous and difficult test. 
I am extremely happy about this, but it's definitely not worth stopping there. We haven't collected all the villagers yet. So wait, what's going on? Your chest is being stolen now. In no case should he be allowed to run away with the body parts of a villager. Uh-oh. I'm very angry right now. How could he do this to us? You just looked. He's trying to climb a tree to hide from us. We will definitely get to you, you terrible noob, and take revenge for what you decided to do to us. If you think you're going to stay upstairs, you're wrong. <laughs> Mikey, let's just remove all the leaves from this tree now, and then it will definitely fall. I don't want him to take the chest away from us, because all the parts of the villager's body were very hard for us. The most important thing is to hurry up, because we have very little time. The wolves are still sitting in the portal. Yes, but without the chest, we won't be able to collect the villager, so now throw this stupid noob out of the tree. I want him to fall as hard as possible and hit himself, so there's not much left. Look, it looks like he's jumping out of a tree right now. Mikey, run faster and grab him. Just don't forget to take out the sword, because it is very dangerous. We need to stop him in every possible way. Throw it at him faster. I'm sure he won't be able to run any further if you hit him. Great, it seems he fell. Let's take the chest from him. We've caught the sneaky noob. <laughs> I hit him with a sword and it was really fun. Now you can safely return the chest to yourself and return back to the portal. He won't be able to run anywhere anymore because I pierced his legs. The chest is behind me. Now we move to the next portal. Let's enter the diamond world. Mikey, we're in the diamond world now. Just look, everything is made of diamonds everywhere. I want to take each block for myself, but we have a different goal. The most important thing is to find the wolf. Let's run on now and try not to be distracted by anything. Oh! Look, I just noticed some kind of fortress with diamond guards. Most likely the wolf is hiding there now, so let's run and find out how we can get inside. But in no case should we attract the attention of the guards, otherwise they will step into battle with us. Let's find another way to go inside this fortress. It won't work through the main entrance. I agree. Then now we'll dig ourselves a small entrance from the back entrance and finally go there. I want to find out what's really inside and find a wolf with a piece of a villager's body in its teeth. This time I will not miss the opportunity and I will definitely get to him. Hmm. No one will stop me. The pickaxe is in my hands and I've made a pass. Super. I didn't expect you to do it all so quickly. To be honest, it surprised me a little, but let's not take any chances now. Still, very quietly and without unnecessary sounds, we will try to go to the entrance. We can't let the guards notice us, otherwise we won't go out with the wolf. We've reached the main entrance. Just look, he's sitting there, but we won't be able to get in just like that because there's no key. We ran to look for him. I am sure. Hmm. There are a lot of boxes in the backyard, so take a closer look at them. I can't believe my eyes. Have you really found something now? The lever is in your hands? Then let's run faster to the cage. The guards don't notice us. I'll take the wolf and we'll go home. The most important thing now is to get to the portal. It was incredibly cool. I still can't believe that we finally got the wolf out of this prison. It's good that I've closed the entrance from the backyard and the guards won't even notice us. All that remains is to quickly run to the portal. The sooner we get out of here, the better it will be for us. Mikey, hurry up. It's important to get the wolf out of here so that no one suspects anything. It was really very cool. Do you understand that in the diamond world, we were able to get into a huge fortress through the guards and still got out of there. Now let's move to the next portal. I am very interested in what awaits us next. I think it will be one of the hardest trials. Jump after me. Oh. Mikey has moved into the portal very quickly now. I'm running after him. I can't believe my eyes. Just look, there's a wolf here that holds whole torsos in its teeth. He is very aggressive. Be careful, run away from him. Otherwise, he can bite you and also tear you into different parts like a villager. We need to defeat the evil wolf. Oh. Mikey, I think I have a way. Just hit him as hard as you can with the sword and then he will definitely leave the torso. Great, I told you that we will succeed. Let's go back. It turns out that everything worked out very well for us. Let's go back. There's no point in us staying here. <laughs> Super, now we are finally in our dimension. Mikey, give me all the body parts. <laughs> Good, I hope that you will be able to return the villager now because I feel very sorry for him. I don't want it to be torn up. Let's try to resurrect him. 
It will be very difficult to do this, but I think we can do it. And now take all the most necessary resources. Mikey, then I'm starting to craft the piston and connect the body parts now. So try not to distract me. There is a lot of work waiting for me now. I have to put my head, torso, arms, and legs in the center, and then conduct an experiment to connect them. We can only hope for the best. Hmm. So, now I've laid out my torso in the right order, and I'm placing pistons on four sides. I need to put them in the right position now and connect them to each other in order to press the lever and bring the villager back. I understand that it will not be so easy to do this. It seems to be working out well. The moment has come. Now I'm pulling the lever. Super! We have resurrected a villager. I am very glad that you have finally returned. It was very difficult to do this because you had to run through different portals and look for wolves. They tore apart your body parts. Thank you very much for the diamonds. Ho <laughs> ho! We were able to find the evil wolves and take the body of the villager from them. That's how our incredible adventure ended.